Yeah, so so points would be, um, you know, if there was a one hundred thousand dollar loan that someone wanted to book with Fund That Flip in order to purchase a property and then have rehab costs in that as well, at the time of closing, that individual would pay two percent of that total loan amount in the form of fee. So on a hundred thousand dollar loan, that would be a two thousand dollar fee at closing in the form of points, and then the ten percent interest that would be an interest only payment on that hundred thousand dollars over the course of the life of the loan. So be it three months, six, nine, or 12, or whatever that term is, um, you would pay interest only loans until the property was completed. Once you sell or refinance, whatever your ex exit strategy might be, you pay off the principal of the loan, and now you're kind of free to replicate the process. And 2% is pretty, uh, what is it, probably 1.5 to 1.8% that people pay in actual origination fees of a, of a typical loan. Exactly. So it, it's, pretty, it's pretty much, it's pretty uh, similar. Yeah, it's it's not too far off. And again, um, just just with the structure of hard money and, and how it works and the value that comes with it, I'll, most of the investors that we work with, they're willing to you know pay that that slight premium on it just because of you know we're able to take individuals who have a limited capital capital stack, maybe their private money lenders running out of money, maybe. Um, their bank that they currently work with and have a relationship with is is capping them out on how much they can they can borrow. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of like, uh, you know, gas on the fire in a way because we have a capital stack that we're able to help investors um, draw down on and then just accelerate their business. So let's uh, let's give a scenario where we actually do, you know, have a rental that you fund the renovation. We're three months into it. We're done. We probably have to get a new appraisal uh, going forward. Do you guys do 30 year amortization? Is that, is that uh, kind of what you do after that? And then what, do, would yeah. an, what would an interest rate, uh, t you know, obviously it bases on a lot of things, uh, credit score and, and you know, yes. um, working relationships, things of that nature. But what does sort of that look like uh, going forward? Is it pretty typical for a bank compared to a bank? Yeah, absolutely. Like, and we, um, we just went through actually a refinance of our uh, one bird deal that we did. So I, I'm, I just had like a side by side comparison between what a local community bank would charge versus what we at fund that flip and fund that rental, what we charge here. So as far as once your renovations complete on your burr and you're now looking to do a cash out refinance of that property to free up that capital and redo the process, um, our origination on the 30 year product is anywhere from about you know, 1.25 to 1.75 points. So it's pretty competitive to what your local bank will charge you and as far as uh, closing points would cost. And on the interest rate, again, it's it's not too different than what a local bank would be. We're anywhere from about five and a half to six and a half uh, rate interest. So, you know, again, the, the main advantage with, with us being, there's no seasoning period. We can typically close within three weeks. Um, so we operate just at a, at a high speed and a, at a high level of uh, execution. 